because of the painful decisions that the Federal Reserve have decided to put through, that makes your life much more difficult. And we have seen this everywhere. You are not alone. You came here for the truth. So let me unveil that for you. In today's video, we are going to talk about what people are experiencing. And of course, not just what they're experiencing, but what can we do about this? I like to cover this a lot. A lot of people don't make it to the end of the videos because of the low attention spends. But of course, we will discuss that here today. I want to look at where people are moving out of. You got to understand this. It's always happening. But now more people are moving than ever before because they are in search of greener pastures. There's an important factor here. When I look in Canada, people are leaving. When I look in the US, people are leaving. When I look at Europe, people are leaving. It's like, where are they going exactly? Well, a lot of the migration happens internally. So they leave the big cities, they go to the smaller towns. They leave in the US one state, they go to another. I'll show you some examples. There are other places that are generally seeing people moving into it, uh, but a lot of times the migration is internal. I want to show you this. Americans continue to name inflation as a top financial problem. Personal finance, financial ratings remain subdued. You're seeing this as well. Many Americans have come to feel that the middle class lifestyle is out of reach. I didn't say you're going to be the next you know, Forbes billionaire. I didn't say that. I said the middle class lifestyle. Blame inflation for bringing down the mood and making the economy seem much worse than it is. Money experts say people feeling downbeat can create a financial plan. That's right. That's going to alleviate the stress. This is talking about a guy who's making $130,000 a year. But when you're young, you just get into the game. Maybe you've got student debt. You have you know, haven't saved up for a house. You just got out of school. You're never going to buy a house. Do you see what's happening here? I felt like I could, if I can make six figures, I would have a nice life. I can save up a down payment. And then he can't do it. It's not happening. Bigger ticket items that our parents could have bought, like a home or a car, that is, just to me, out of reach. Yeah. Okay. He acknowledged that his budget could go further in a city with lower cost of living. That's the case, right? If you go somewhere else then your pay might decline significantly as well. These things are relative. Today, this system is broken, not by accident, but on purpose. If you wanted to control a population, what would you do? Would you create deflation so that everybody could be better off after a period of time? Would you do that? Or would you create inflation to hurt people at the maximum level? You see, that's what divides groups of people is inflation. The longer you keep that inferno burning, the more inflation that you will, um, the more damage you will be able to get done. And that's what they're doing. Not deflation, my goodness. Every so-called, you know, these, these financial YouTubers, they tell you that, oh, they want to create a deflation because of this and that. Look, they do... The, the richest of the rich people, they do take advantage of deflations. They've got money. They've got the capital. Uh, you know what? I'll buy this. I'll buy that. Sure. They pick up stuff for pennies on a dollar. That's a fact. But they are also getting rich during the periods of inflation simply by holding, waiting, and seeing. And they do so in generally illiquid markets. E-liquid, not liquid markets, something that I talked about recently. And you can see here, I'll show you this interactive map. Population map reveals states that are growing and shrinking the quickest. Okay, so you'll look at this for yourself. It's not going to surprise you, probably, but here it is. Looking at this. So the blue, the darker the blue, that's the more decreasing. And then the darker the red, that's increasing. And so we can look at this, uh, California, New York. Those are two obvious examples where the population has been declining, where people have been leaving. And then you look at places like Florida, which has seen a 3.3% increase, Texas as well, Arizona's on the list. And uh, we have, believe it or not, Idaho, 5.4%. And generally what has happened you know, you can kind of see um, when it's broken down by metro area, I've shown that map uh, not that long ago within the last month, 
it was actually really telling that generally people are moving away from the coasts and they're moving more inward it's more affordable hey in a two-hour flight or a one-hour flight i can get back to see my family and so on that's what a lot of people have decided to do um, but of course it doesn't just work like that a lot of these companies are saying you better come back to work. Um, we're not doing that whole work from home thing or we're doing hybrid model. A lot of companies are doing that, okay? So it's what you expect. There's different reasons for it, of course, not just one reason, but for the purposes of this video, we're talking about the fact that people can't keep up. And like, yeah, you can move to a cheaper area and upset the people that you just, you know, the area you just moved into, but um, uh, that, you know, if you need a job locally, a lot of times it's just not paying it's just not paying that's a problem retailers shake up the self checkouts to curb in irritation and theft so what's happening here with this is oh you want to make minimum wage that minimum wage keeps increasing well we can't afford to pay you that minimum wage we're going to lay those cashiers off and we're going to put self checkouts in the way i was just at um a grocery store at the self checkout the people next to me there was a couple next to me and they were they were clearly uh they were scanning like way too much stuff at the self checkout i think self checkout is good if you got like one or two items just go scan it you keep moving uh but when you're doing like your entire groceries which they were trying to do i could just hear the frustration in the guy's voice and he was not happy about it okay that's what's going on and at the same time there's there's theft so this is what's happening all around. There's kind of a backlash against the self-checkout. They're not going to get rid of it, I think, entirely. I just believe that they went way too far into it. In many cases, it should be used for those one, two items, quick checkout, and you're out of there. Uh, but here we have it. It's going to be a work in progress. But we know what, what's happening. They are trying to have less human capital, human labor, I should say. Growing number of Canadians are moving abroad due to lack of affordability. That's it. Okay. The study found that the number of Canadians living abroad relative to the national population was five times higher than the U.S. So what happens here is people move to Canada, they get their permanent residence, and they say, see you later. That's all. Why? Because the prospects are probably going to be much better in the United States. And if there are any Canadians listening to this right now, I know I've got more than a few. Please put that down below. What happens? You get brain drain. Now, I asked a surgeon this myself. If there was any brain drain and he felt that that was the case, he didn't seem to think so. Okay, maybe in his industry. But in general, what I've seen is that people would say, you know what? What's the point of this? If you're a general practitioner in Canada, I mean, you're getting, you're, you're not doing well. Okay, at least what you thought. And uh, so they have to come up with other ideas. Um, but what's going on here is a matter of fact that they will leave. People will leave. If you're not going to incentivize them, people will leave. What happened just recently? Capital gains inclusion tax increased in Canada. Okay. And doctors that are incorporated to, to protect them, maybe it could be, you could say it's for taxation purposes. It's really not. It's actually for liability a lot of it is liability purposes. And what's happening here is they said, okay, you're you're a corporation. Well, now you got to pay up to two thirds, depending on how much you make. And there's a, there's a, you know, the scale and so on. But you're going to be paying, you know, on some of that income, you're going to be two thirds of it capital gains tax. It is not a, a a good thing what we're seeing and of course people are leaving and look it's not just canada it's not just the us i am moving that is it tycoon speaks out about the end of the non-dom tax status okay so this guy here i believe is multi-millionaire um and just saying look i haven't lived here full time in all these years and now you want to i built businesses overseas like like I have lived overseas the vast majority of the time. I've built those business entirely overseas, but the country that, you know, my country, the citizenship is, is saying basically, okay, well, you're in a different country. You got to get taxed. Is that the way that works? I mean, some countries do that, not many, but 
uh, that is going to create an exodus. Don't do it. Okay, don't do that kind of stuff. I can understand you're saying, hey, if you're working, you're using the services of that country. But in this case here, come on, you're you're going to regret it because the quality of the of the people, of the workers, of the doctors, the all the entrepreneurs, the engineers, they're gonna say, I'm gone. I'm gone. Europe's East will soon overtake Club Med for living standards. Look at this, Eastern Europe to catch up with Club Med by 2029. Come on, Italy's GDP per capita. Look, Slovenia in, went beyond that. Poland is going beyond that. This is not a good sign for what's happened over the last several years. We have to start waking up. The, the decisions that are being made are making things worse. Not for everybody, though. New York's panic room boom from installing electrified doorknobs to ballistics grade walk in closets. The city's ultra rich are feeling ultra paranoid. So they know what's going on, they know what's up, and they're getting prepped. They're getting the bunkers and apparently installing electrified doorknobs. It got me thinking of like Home Alone, kind of. It's happening. And then just America's appetite for Mick Mansions is devouring modern architecture. They give you a couple examples in here. But the point is that some people are doing very well. Very well. And then there's everybody else. So what we see here and what we can do about this, because yes, we see that, okay, inflation is taking hold. For me, for what I tried to do, it was very clear that it is not wise to have your income in one place. You've got to start to learn how to make your income in multiple places. That's the best possible thing that you can do with your time and energy. There's no question about this. You have to do that. Now you say, look, I'm working a nine to five job. I come home, I'm beat. I don't want to have to do something else. Well, you obviously believe that in 10 years, in 20 years from now, everything is status quo. Is it? Or is it going to be worse? What do you think? Well, don't you think that a little bit of tough love right now is probably what you got to deal with so that in 10 years from now, you're not in a worse position than you are today? You've got to do something. You have skills today that you could be using in order to maximize your circumstances over the, you know, because it compounds, right? Well, if you're making something today, hopefully you can compound that over a period of time. But if you have very little, you can't save, you can't invest. You have to do things today that you didn't think you would have to do before. You're saying, hey, I got a good job. I got a good salary. There's a good career. There's a good... Things have changed. Just over the last five years, things have really changed. And according to the RCMP, the next five years are going to be a lot worse. So we have to do what we can. I've got playlists on my channel. I've got how to make money. I've got multiple, actually a couple in there just about how to make money. I've got Compass. It's a totally free financial education course for people to go through on my website. Totally free, no paywall, no email, no nothing. You've got to learn how to make money online. I talk about that on the Sunday Business Live. That's important as well. you got to learn how to potentially be a better investor. Easier said than done, I know. But that's one thing as well. If you want more information, there's a link at the top of the description. If you appreciate be, uh, me talking about this stuff, trying to bring you the latest and greatest, hit that thumbs up button. When you do, you're supporting the channel. And of course, of course, don't forget to come back tomorrow. Take care.